good day dear students today we are going to talk about the intercellular junctions that is the junctions between two cells there are two types of intercellular junctions those that tie or fasten cells together those that tie or fasten cells together so there are, there are these junctions which link two cells together and they provide structural stability and those that permit the passage of ions and molecules those that permit communication permit the passage of ions and molecules between the cells those that fasten the cells together are of two types mainly they are tight junctions tight tight junctions because they hold the cells tightly tight junctions and then there are desmosomes desmosomes So tight junctions and desmosomes fasten cells together, hold cells tightly, or provide stability. And then there are those that permit communication between the cells. These are called as gap junctions. These are called as gap junctions. These gap junctions are quite well known. They are in the heart where they permit the passage of ions and in the electrical synapses of the brain. I'll be drawing a tubular epithelial cell. Epithelial cell lining the tubule, renal tubule, or the small intestine. Epithelial cell lining the renal tubule or the small intestine. Epithelial cell lining the renal tubule or the small intestine. So this is a tubular epithelial cell. It could line either the tubules or the kidney. It could line the tubules or the small intestine. It has an apical membrane and a basolateral membrane. Apical membrane is referred to the membrane which faces the lumen, which faces the lumen, lumen of the kidney or the lumen of the small intestine. And basolateral membrane is the membrane facing the blood. 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 Now there is a junction which is the tight junction and this tight junction is because it holds the cells tightly but then it is not homogeneous means it is there are different types of tight junctions it lies mainly on the apical side of the cell it holds the two cells together you must be wondering that it is so tight that it doesn't prevent passage of any molecules and ions. But it is not so. There are three types of tight junctions. It has three main functions. That is, it could be gates, which are the leaky tight junctions. Gates could be the leaky tight junctions. Gates are the leaky tight junctions means they permit the passage of ions and solutes. They are in the proximal convoluted tubule of the kidney. 
proximal convoluted tubule of the kidney proximal convoluted tubule of the kidney then there could be barriers you know barriers are difficult to work so barriers are tight tight junctions in the distal convoluted tubule of the kidney the dct of the kidney there are the barriers and barriers do not permit the passage of molecules and ions please remember the tight junctions get gradually tighter as we move along the nephron and finally there are these fences which maintain which polarize the cell meaning they maintain the polarity of transporters the organization of transporters on the apical and basolateral surface maintain the organization of transporters on the apical and basolateral surface and there are desmosomes desmosomes with made up of cadherins and they have these filaments attached to them they have these filament like structures attached to them these are known as intermediate filaments intermediate because they are intermediate between microfilaments or actin filaments or the thin filaments and the thick filaments which are the myosin filaments they are intermediate between them intermediate in size in thickness and they are attached to the desmosomes so we have desmosomes which are made of proteins known as cadherins cadherins the proteins which make up desmosomes are known as cadherins and intermediate filaments are attached to them finally we have these gap junctions which we are very well familiar with gap junctions are in the heart where they permit the passage of molecules and ions and even electrical charge and hence there are there are two syncytia there is the atrial syncytia and there is the ventricular syncytia in addition gap junctions are found in the electrical synapses of the brain the electrical synapses of the brain these electrical synapses are particularly found in the hippocampus in hippocampus which encodes the memory so each gap junction is made of six connexin subunits six connexin subunits which form a connexon connexon and connexon from one cell joins a connexon from another cell to form a gap junction connexon from one cell joins a connexon from another cell to form a gap junction connexon from one cell joins a connexon from another cell to form a gap junction defect in gap junctions is responsible for a peripheral neuropathy peripheral neuropathy which is characterized by defect in peripheral nerve sensations resulting in tingling numbness tingling and numbness defect in peripheral nerve sensations so it is known as neuropathy and this form is known as charcot marie tooth disease charcot is known as the father of neurology he worked at the salpeter in paris and he is known as the father of neurology in the 19th century he worked and he is known as a father of neurology 
then defect in desmosomes is responsible for a disorder called pemphigus pollicis pemphigus pollicis which is char- characterized by blistering and scaling on the skin blisters there are blisters on the skin and in addition there is a defect in a structure known as desmoglin 1 it is a defect in a structure known as desmoglin 1 and there are blisters on the skin there is scaling of the skin so the skin comes up and it is a very troublesome condition so the intercellular junctions are the tight junctions which are of three types gates barriers and fences gates are leaky tight junctions in the proximal tibial of the kidney barriers are tight tight junctions in the dct and then there are fences which maintain the orientation of ions on the apical and basolateral side there are desmosomes which are made of cadherins and intermediate filaments are attached to them there are gap junctions which are made of connexin six connexin so connexon and then defect in gap junctions is known as charcot marie tooth disease so thank you for watching my channel have a good day please like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video again thank you for your patient viewing and have a good day